welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be testing out a brand new foundation i've seen it around several like places and i didn't really think anything of it and it's been very 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 hyped up so i decided to test it out and see what the hype was about oh did i even say the name okay so before we even get into it the foundation i'm even talking about is the maybelline superstay full coverage um foundation it's a 24 hour foundation it claims so in the front um and i got the shade 120 classic ivory um now i went to three locations for this foundation and i will say to start off i couldn't find it in two of my ultas or if they did have it it was open and people were testing it out in that one which was disgusting so i was definitely not trying to buy that one so I kind of gave up after the second location and I was like, okay, like, I guess I'll have to wait to try it out. So I went to Walmart to pick up actually another foundation that I'm going to be reviewing tomorrow for you guys. So be on the lookout for that. And I walked in and I actually saw the Maybelline foundation I was looking for and Walmart was stocked up. But one thing I will say is that from what I've seen with several youtubers is the fact that this foundation does oxidize so that's why hopefully this this looks like it could be my shade and hopefully with it oxidizing this is it'll be like my exact shade and i won't look pale as hell so we'll just get right into it let me just read the claims on this foundation it says it's full coverage up to 24 hour wear seamless matte finish breathable and comfortable fade and transfer resistant oil free doesn't clog pores it's dermatologist tested so those are all the claims in the back those are all very amazing claims um so i'm very excited to try it because if you guys know me you guys know i love matte foundation especially the l'oreal pro matte and i have not been able to find one that i love as much as that one from the drugstore but i've seen several people rave about this one so let's hope so i'm gonna take as a primer the hangover the Too Faced hangover primer which this is amazing guys especially if you have dry skin um it it's so nice it feels really nice on the skin so i'm gonna do that today just because um i don't want this foundation to be too matte on me So, I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge. Ready? And I guess I'm going to shake it up because usually I shake up all my foundations. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and then dot it on my face. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to do like a pump and a half. And then dot it on my face. It's like very thick. And if it oxidizes, it'll be my perfect shade. So there's one layer of it. And as you can see, especially me looking at it, um, it did cover like my 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 acne scars that I had. And I think the shade actually matches me pretty well. The other ones were way too dark for me, guys. So I would definitely suggest going down a few shades um, than your original. This is one layer of it. I did, I would say, like three pumps or so for my whole face. But 
yeah it looks like it is oxidizing a bit which I don't mind like I said I would do a shade below your what your normal regular shade is because I feel like it does oxidize as you let it sit yeah so I'm going to do the rest of my face really quick and we're gonna do a wear test too I'll come back at the end you know of a few hours and show you guys what this looks like so okay hello guys so this is like the final outcome of the foundation and it looks it looks pretty good I guess it's definitely not my favorite foundation I am very very picky um, I'm gonna try to take a quick picture even though my hair looks a damn mess for you guys just so you can see how it like takes actual pictures like what it looks like well this is it with no editing or anything um, it doesn't look bad. This is no editing straight off snapchat, but The foundation is not bad at all. It's not bad. What's at all like don't get me wrong I don't hate it. I definitely won't be returning it or anything um, But if you are like drier skinned, I would be careful with this one. It is very it, it is very matte I will say the price point is great. This foundation was only $9.98 at Walmart it could I think it was like 11 at Ulta though. So it varies based on where you get it, but the price point is around like 9 to $12. And the shade selection is not bad. There's like, I don't even know, a total of like 15 foundations and they spread it out pretty evenly. I'm gonna try my best not to like take off my makeup before and I can do like an update in a few hours. I'm not really doing anything today. All I'm going to be doing is some homework that I have like a lot to do. But you guys know that you, you could be sitting around all day and your foundation will still like start to fade off or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to see for the picture. It's that's my main thing. It can look good. You know, obviously we want it to look good in person, but like for pictures, I just hate to have to edit my pictures, like, like facetune the crap out of it because the foundation is emphasizing texture, like has terrible coverage. So the picture test, it definitely passed. It, it looks like I don't really have to edit much at all in this picture. So I'm going to try to go the longest I can and right before I'm about to remove my makeup, I'll come back on here and let you guys know how long it was. And whatever the case may be um, so I will catch you guys in a little bit hopefully I don't forget okay. so I'm back and it's been like so it's 805 and I've been wearing this foundation for about like seven hours I want to say and I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can look kind of closely so as you can see, this is like a matte, it's a, a semi-matte foundation. I did get like oily around this in particular, like a lot around my nose area. And I know a lot of people get that problem. So I got really oily towards here on my forehead. Um, what else? Some did come off here from like wiping my nose, but not that much considering those are all the spots that it didn't wear that well in. Um, the only thing, I didn't touch up or anything. I just wore this foundation all day. I didn't do much. I stayed inside for the most part, but I was still wearing it. I went out for like a little bit. Um, it wore pretty well. It still looks pretty nice. It gets sort of oily after wearing it for a while. Still not too bad I just would suggest like blotting throughout the day and then it would be fine specifically in the t-zone area but for the most part it's a pretty good foundation I would give it like a 7.58 out of 10 total there are definitely other foundations that I prefer over this one but this is one that I would not mind reaching for yeah that's pretty much it just wanted to do that quick update for you guys before I took my makeup off because I'm sick of wearing my makeup. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next time. I'm actually doing another foundation review tomorrow too. So be on the lookout for that one. And yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this foundation and what are your thoughts on it. So yes, I'll catch you guys next time.